sometimes it's just best to stay to your fucking self because you just do not know who you fucking with. You can't just be out here running your mouth to people, threatening people, saying all type of racial slurs to people and not knowing who these people is. You're going to fuck around and get fucked up. You fucked around and got fucked up. Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your man, Ballhead Tay, Four Wings and Fries. Hit them likes and please hit them subscribes before we get started. Hit them notifications and hit that notification bell so your dumb ass will be notified when the shit dropping. You feel me? It'll pop right up on your phone or whatever device you're using. Bing! No comments. Media is at you just like that. Yeah. We're going to read up about this motherfucking racist piece of shit motherfucker here. Roll rage and all of that, starting shit on the road, tailgating people, middle fingers, gun gestures and all of that, talking big shit for no reason. Big racist, ugly motherfucker. We gonna get into it right here, man. A Florida man was given a nasty surprise after attempting to run a black MMA fighter off the road in a racially motivated attack. Jordan Patrick Leahy, 29 years old, pulled alongside the victim, his girlfriend, and his four-year-old daughter in Seminole, California. My bad, Seminole, Florida. <laughs> Yelling racial slurs and making shooting gestures, you know. He was doing all that, you feel me? He was making shooting gestures, you feel me? After attempting to run the victim off the road, Leahy aggressively tailgated him for nearly a mile and a half before he sideswiped his vehicle and flee the scene. You bitch ass motherfucker. So you doing all of this shit for what? People be real tough behind their vehicles. I say this shit all the time. They be giving you the middle finger, riding all up close on you, cutting you off because that's who they are deep inside their heart. But they wouldn't do no fuck shit like this in real life. They wouldn't do no shit like this that'd be real rude and disrespectful right there in your presence, in your face. But they get behind their little motor vehicles and they are super tough. Because they protect, man, fuck that. Fuck that. But let's continue on. Yeah, the victim, identified only as JT, was however intent on getting the license plate of his assailant's car and eventually caught up to Leahy at a red light. So he just was like, yo, this motherfucker doing all of this. I mean, let me get the motherfucking license plate. You feel me? Report him to the police. Because he doing all types of dumb shit. He's a threat out here to society. He following people. He tailgating people. He swipe my vehicle. So let me let me, let me me get his tag so I can report him to the authorities. You feel me? That's what the dude, JT, I guess that's what he assuming he about to do. You feel me? That's all he wanted to do. Because you out here being a rude asshole. So he pulled up on you. Got your license plate. He got the license plate of the assailant's car and eventually caught up to Leahy at the red light. Leahy then got out of his car and stormed at JT and tried to assault him again, yelling racial slurs. The court documents reveal. So you gonna get out your car? You mad because I'm taking your information? He got out the car, he charged, and he stormed JT. And let's see what the fuck happened after that. And I hope he got his ass whipped, you feel me? Leahy bites off more than he could chew with the MMA fighter. Little did Leahy know, however, JT is a mixed martial artist. I said artist. He's a mixed martial artist. He's a mixed martial artist, you feel me? That means he fuck people up for a living. And you out here not knowing what you about to get your dumb ass self into. Yeah. JT got out of his car and, it was, and approached Leahy, who then said something to the effect of, fuck you nigga. They said N-word. They didn't put that in the patches. But I'ma just say what the white boy said. He was like, yo, fuck you, nigga. Yeah, and so let me see what the fuck else happened after that because I know what the fuck I did. Yeah, Leahy then attempted to strike JT. So you, you gonna say, fuck you, nigga, and you gonna swing on him? Use a bold, racist motherfucker. I use a bold, racist motherfucker. Yeah. He attempted to, to strike JT with a closed fist, but the trained MMA fighter easily slipped the blow and punched Leahy twice. Then swiftly placed Leahy in a red naked choke, and he briefly passed out before restraining him and before the police arrived. So you got your ass two piece boot bopped. Then he, get your dumb ass over here. Yeah, yoked you up. Stupid ass boy. <laughs> That's what the fuck you get calling people all types of names and you swiping vehicles. Calm your dumb ass down. Keep your eyes on the road, man. What the fuck is going on? You think after being choked out so effortlessly, Leahy would perhaps keep his bigoted views to himself. But when it come when it, but when the cops arrived, 
he began sprouting a number of anti-black statements, including that black people need to be kept in their areas. What the fuck you mean kept in their areas? Motherfucker, earth is my area. Bitch ass motherfucker. Yeah. The fuck need to be kept? I ain't got no area. Bitch, world is my area. Bitch, the fuck is you talking about? Yeah. Earlier this month, Leahy was convicted of a hate crime. See, he was doing this shit earlier this month. So, yeah, he ain't learned his lesson. I guess the first time he ain't got fucked up. I guess hope this time he got fucked up enough to it. No, he ain't learned his lesson because after he got fucked up, he still continued on making racial slur. Maybe sometime next time this shit happened because he probably going to do it again. Somebody need to put a bullet in his ass. You feel me? Yeah, maybe that'll shut him the fuck up. No one should be targeted. Threatened, intimidated, or assaulted because of their race, said U.S. Attorney Roger Henberg. The defendant in this case acted upon his bigoted beliefs and put an entire family and other safety at risk. We and our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners will not tolerate such behaviors in our community. Yeah, I hope he got, he got beat up, sent his dumb ass to jail. Give him life. I don't give a fuck. Give him life. Racist motherfucker. The man had his daughter in his car, had his, his female in the car with him. Man, fuck that. Lock his dumb ass up. Put him away from jail for life. Racist motherfucker. You got beat the fuck up. He ain't learned his lesson the first time. Next time, somebody need to pop his dumb ass. It's your man, Ballhead. Take four wings and fries. Likes, subscribes, all of that. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. I'll see y'all next time. It's no condoms, media.